Hiya folks, today I'm bringing you a post-narrated battle from the LCPGL competition. Um, this was originally going to be a live narration, but a lot of things went horribly wrong when I was doing the recording, so um, uh, I am doing a post-narration instead. God bless um, the fact that you can save battle videos, right? Okay, so, um, looking at his team, I was really thinking, I mean, obviously Sneasel is coming, I was worried about Magnemite, um, but I really wasn't sure... Um, and so I decided I was going to lead off, like this guy obviously isn't the best because he's using a Trico, but I mean, I have an Inky, but you know, I just didn't see this guy being super competent. And indeed he leads off with Gibble, I lead off with Surskit, this is amazing, I'm going to be able to set up my uh, sticky web. I see the Vulpix out here and I'm thinking, yeah, this is, this is you know, a problem. Uh, indeed, it is Drought Vulpix, and I'm thinking, okay, well, at least I'm going to get my Sticky Web up, and at least I got the free Sticky Web up, and I, at least I should be able to do a decent amount of damage with Hydro Pump, assuming it doesn't miss. Uh, ironically, his Fire Blast misses. My Hydro Pump connects, gets him down to, um, not, doesn't quite one-hit KO. Uh, it turns out this is a speed tie here, so this is not running Scarf Vulpix, this is, you know, just regular Vulpix. I do manage to take him out, so that's great. Um, that is one huge threat eliminated. Uh, now Gibble is back out. I'm really curious who his last is. It's got to be Sneasel, I figure. It's got to be Sneasel. I just go ahead and uh, go for the signal beam. Uh, I don't care if I lose Keats at this point. Uh, he goes ahead and goes for Rock Slide. He's slower. Worst case scenario, it brings me down to my sash. It doesn't even bring me down to my sash. I go ahead and take him out with a second signal beam, and I am now up two, or I'm uh, now up three to one. So, uh, pretty awesome. Now his last Pokemon is Trico. He didn't even bring his Sneasel. I just couldn't believe this. And I'm thinking, okay, well now quick attack for the KO, and that'll be that. Um, I go for this. It turns out that he's not running the quick attack. So I go for the Signal Beam. Um, gets him down to his Sash. That's fine. And so I think, okay, well he's going to take me out one way or the other. And I hope. And then he gets confused. I'm like, this is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. Um, he breaks through the confusion. So at least there's not that horrible bit of hacks. So he goes for the Solar Beam, interestingly enough. And obviously that's going to take me out. I have 3 HP left. Obviously it's going to take me out. So Switch Kit goes down and that's the first Pokemon that I've lost in uh, LCPGL. I go ahead and send out Sneasel simply because I wanted to get some airtime. My last uh, selection was Murkrow. Excuse me, Murkrow. Murkrow would have been the better choice, but I wanted Sneasel to get some playtime. So I went ahead and went for the Icicle Crash. Trico goes down and that is the end of the match. Uh, two, zi uh, two zip. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that extremely short battle. Um, I mean, they're all really short. It's Little Cup, and it's three versus three, so obviously it's going to be short. Anyway, stay tuned. There will be more battles soon.